Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Because if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Exactly. So why as well just hit the subscribe button because you're watching. <laughs> So if you're hearing my voice, be cautious, okay? If y'all see me looking at how I have notes, so because I came prepared, okay? I came prepared, prepared. So as you can see by the title, we are talking about confidence. I've been procrastinating about this video. I don't know why. I just want to make sure I come with y'all with the right words. But so instead of saying how to build your confidence, this video is how I build my confidence. And maybe this can help other women, other girls out there. I don't know. And I just want to share what I've done because I actually got this question of like how to know your word, how to feel beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like people be asking me, like, where did you get your confidence from? And I'm happy to share it because it's no secret. Everyone is confident. It's in every woman's natural state. It takes, you know, steps to get towards your confidence. So, nine ways to build your confidence. There's no order to this. This is just things like things. There's no order. I'm gonna just tell y'all, you know, nine ways how I build my confidence. So, first thing that I've done was change my diet. I changed my diet. And it's like, I didn't change my diet because I build confidence, but I noticed my confidence leveled up when I watched what I eat. You know, food does make you feel a certain way, depending on what you eat. So, if you eat it like, you know, you eat it good, you gonna feel good. But if you eat it bad, and y'all know what bad is. Come on, y'all, let's be honest. All that processed food, greasy food, it's not gonna make you feel bad, you know? It's okay. I'm not saying you're saying be the healthiest person in the world. But just watch what you eat. I noticed when I changed my diet, I start feeling instantly better, like, better physically and emotionally, mentally. Like, I still have ways to go, but diet is definitely a way to like feel good within yourself second thing that i've done to like build my confidence is i dress up like even if i'm not going to work so there are times where i just want to lay in bed all day and when you lay in bed all day you feel like a slob you're not feeling good about yourself you're just in the house chilling if you chilling in your house clothes all day you ain't really giving much of yourself like yeah you it's cool sometimes but like just being in your house clothes all day even when you're not going nowhere that can kind of make you feel down so i would stay in the house for like a whole week i don't want to be in my house clothes all week like sometimes i just dress up even if i'm not going nowhere just dress up and take pictures like just to feel good and then you never know some friends somebody may call you and you already looking good so you ain't gotta be like oh my god i gotta put something together you already look good you already prepared yourself for the day you know what i'm saying dressing up even if you're not going nowhere just dressing up period just make you make me feel good and it's probably gonna make you feel good girl try it number three is limit your phone time limit the social limit social media because y'all know social media really mess with people mental health and i don't care what nobody say that's really a big effect on women because y'all know we got these instagram girls these girls with the bodies like y'all know they be looking cute they look good y'all get like and we end up we tend to compare ourselves like oh well, i don't look like that why my booty don't look like that like, we all want to look like the next person Limit that because for what everybody is on their own journey. Yeah, I had to learn it the hard way. Like we're all on our own journey. We just want to wake up and look like the next person the next day. No, it doesn't work like that. God made us the way we are for a reason. We all have our own essence. Okay, limit your phone time. Like cut down social media and spend more time with yourself. We tend to compare ourselves when we see other beautiful people. That's okay. I'm not saying you can't do it, but as humans, we do do it. Just watch your emotions. When you respect yourself and give more time to yourself rather than other people 
watch how many people start to respect you. Spend time with yourself. Focus on yourself. It's just watch how things change, y'all. Okay, number four, y'all. Yeah, I believe we are on number four. Another way that I build my confidence is I start looking in the mirror more. We're, we're low-key doing shadow work. We're not low-key. We're high-key. We are doing shadow work when you're spending more time with yourself. I that ass look in the mirror. I look in the mirror and tell myself I am beautiful. I give myself pep talks. I do affirmation. You're literally swooping your own head up. I am literally filling my own body with positivity. And like, can't nobody tell you nothing. I don't care what nobody say. I am beautiful. And I'm not talking about just looks eternally. My intentions are so pure. I make pure intentions and I am beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Have faith within yourself. Just keep keep telling yourself like, that's what I've done. Just try it. You gonna go a very, very long way. So number five, another way that I build my confidence is I felt validation within myself instead of outside factors. Don't get me wrong. I love compliments. I appreciate compliments. I appreciate gifts. I appreciate everything physically that made me happy i don't look forward to people making me happy i look forward for, to, for myself to make me happy you know what i'm saying find validation within yourself don't try to look for it in some other dude you expect your partner to make you happy no like even in a relationship you're still in control of your own happiness yes your partner does play a part but it's only up to you to make you happy not others okay so number six another way that i build my confidence is i start working out and that kind of goes into what with diet but working out and diet is two separate things i start working out when i started working out it was because i looked at myself and i wasn't happy with myself but I was able to control that. And I'm not, I wasn't happy with myself, like, mentally. I, I was good. I'm a great person. But as far as body-wise, you know, we can all change our bodies. So I wanted to change my I wanted to work on myself. And that's what I did. And I came a long way. And I am so proud of myself. This is how I build my confidence. When I go in the gym, I be looking in the mirror. I'm like, damn. Like, I straight. I be feeling so good. Especially when I'm, like pushing myself when i'm sweating i love sweating because i know i really put it in work that's how i build my confidence i start working out working on parts that i can't control working out to me was a way that i build my confidence okay so number seven this kind of ties into social media this kind of like particular when i post something on instagram i don't delete it because the amount of likes i get Y'all know it's so easy to delete a picture because we need to get the amount of likes who that we expect. So we want to delete it. No, I when I post it, it's because I felt good in that moment. I'm not gonna post it because of what other thing or how I think others are gonna think of my picture. You cannot care about likes. You cannot. Do not let likes control you. Don't let likes define you. Whenever you feeling good, post it. Don't care what nobody thinks. Who cares? If you feel good in that moment, post it. Post it, okay? Who cares? You look good, you feel good. That's all that matters, period. Okay, girl, so number eight. Another way to build your confidence is this is have to do with physical appearance. If you need, if you want to do your makeup, do your makeup. If you want to throw on some heels, throw on some heels. If you want to go get your nails done, put some nails on. Those small things does help with like confidence because when you look good you feel good exactly do things for yourself that's self-care you want to go get a pedicure and manicure go to go get your makeup go to go get your hair done stuff like that go to go get a facial all that stuff is self-love because you're taking care of your body you go get your nails done you care about how your nails look you go get your feet done your hair done you care about that means you care about your hair you care about your feet do them things for yourself them small things those really do go a long way. I be feeling good because I like that. And I like feeling good. I really do. Last thing, number nine. I say the best for last, of course. Include God in everything. Yeah. Y'all yeah, know we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the most high, okay? Prayer works, y'all. Y'all. When you set true intentions, when you set pure intentions and you truly 
believe if you truly have faith anything can go your way just be grateful pray tell god what you want and it's gonna happen it's like prayer helps it really does help me and i think everyone should try it i really do but i really do hope that this helped someone out there go ahead and follow my socials my instagram all these social media. and like comment subscribe thank you